Joe, would you mind telling me who that is? It's Nick. He won't leave me alone. Nick, would you mind explaining to me what he's doing here dressed as... I don't know what he's dressed as. I'm a ninja. He won't leave me alone, dude. Seriously, I mean, I'm starting to get freaked out. I keep changing my number, but he keeps getting my number somehow. How do you think I feel right now? I live here. No, no, you don't. When uh, we were shoot, we were actually shooting it. Um, I had 22 episodes for season one, and I had them all written out, and every single one of them included Joe and Nick and Elena. And Mr. Drakers, of course, and obviously myself. Um, never really happened, obviously, because uh, the first four were the only ones that we ever really completed. Um, but there were a few more. The guys went home after we filmed the first four. They went home that night. They were supposed to come back about a week or two, two weeks later, and we were going to do the next five, I think, because I had five more written. And two of them, we never did scenes with Joe and Nick again, but two of them, I started filming with Elena that never made it. And one of them was the insect incident, which was the original title, um, where Elena had to do a science project that involved bringing a wasp in a jar. And somehow the wasp was going to get loose and sting Mr. Draker's and he obviously he would blame me for it, and I would have to rush him to the ER in a moment of panic, and Joe and Nick would help me out, rush him over to the hospital, <laughs> something like that. And, um, which was interesting because that was a story that actually happened. Uh, see, that was the first time I started including stuff that happened from my life because that happened to my mom. She, um, my, um, I, I wasn't in the car when this happened, but my dad was driving a car and my mom was sitting in the passenger seat. She had the window down and they were at a stoplight and a, wa and a bee stung her in the neck and they rushed her to the ER and she found out she was allergic to bees. I mean, she's fine, but you know, I remember hearing, I'm like, wow, what a story. That should be in a sitcom. And I, I was writing the idea down. <laughs> to this day, every time my parents come up to me and tell me funny stories about, uh, stories about stuff like that, I remember saying, can I use that? Can I write that? I haven't seen that on television or anything or anywhere else. Can I put that down? You know, <laughs> so, but that was one of them. And, uh, we filmed it even. Um, the only thing we filmed from that scene was me, uh, doing scenes with Elena when she was working with, uh, the bugs in her bedroom. Elena, your parents are here! Okay, Grandpa. The other episode that we filmed was, uh, the CD player, which was where I was supposed to be cleaning an antique-like CD player that Elena gets for her birthday. And the footage in the season two opening of Elena listening, you know, she's bobbing her head up and down, she's listening on the headphones, that was in the CD player, but it never made it because we never finished the episode and it never, we didn't have enough material to finish it. And I, I looked it over and I said, you know, we're not, we're not going to finish this. It's a stupid idea. And, um, and also the scene with me in the season two opening when I'm cleaning a CD, the CD player, I'm like... That was also in there because I was supposed to do that reaction when Elena says the line, Grandpa! He took my CD player! And then Mr. Drakers was supposed to, like, you know, toughen me up or something, say, Why did you touch the play? I told you not to touch the CD player! You know, something like that. Um, but that was the CD player. And then we also, I also did a scene with Elena where we did a Halloween episode. Uh, Andrew isn't selling candy. His friend is selling candy. We had five more episodes I was I had in mind. I thought we would do Elena scenes first and then Joe and Nick's, but Joe and Nick never came back, so we had five more ideas. The insect incident, the CD player, and the other three um, made it into the second season, which was the Halloween episode, which was the horror. Um, it wasn't that exact story with the whole Ricky Gervais thing, but it was something like that. Uh, the napkin setup, which was for Mr. Drakers, because he was going to have this big party, and I was going to tell him how to set up a nap the napkins or something, which to me sounded like a Larry David idea. That is so Larry David. He would be so something like that. I don't know. Maybe he would or he wouldn't be. 
and the other one was uh, the golf game, which was entirely for Joe Bettino because he was really into golf, and he was he would tell me stuff like he was on the golf team at uh, our, our high school. And he would just tell me stories about that, like the caddies and everything. And I thought, well, we can do an episode about that. You know, we could do that. But um, those three episodes went into the second season instead. And we changed it a little bit with, uh, you know, the characters of Dan and Toby, Maguire Drakers.